Good morning, everyone. It's Saturday morning, and you know what that means. <gasps> Crafty Kids! Okay. Um, today, we are making Origami Ninja Stars Ooh. in honor of International Ninja Day. <gasps> Did you know that that's today? Oh my gosh! Right now? Whoa! I know. So we're going to teach you how to make your very own ninja star wow. out of nothing more than two sheets of construction paper. Wow. The only other thing you're gonna need is a pair of scissors. Cool. That's it. It's wow. all folding. You don't need glue. You don't need any marker. I mean, you can use markers if you wanna decorate it. Man. But yeah, no, that's it. That is so cool. So, um, you can of course do whatever colors of construction paper you want. It works best if you use eight and a half by 11 sheets. Okay. Um, so if you even just have regular computer uh, printer paper, like yeah. that's fine too. Cool. Um, I think it's fun to have two different colors and it also helps make the folding a little easier mm. once we get further along. Okay. But um, if you want it to be the same color, obviously you can make that work. Mm -hmm. So whatever you want to do. Awesome. So to get started, the first thing that you'll need to do is take one corner of your sheet and you're going to fold it across so that way you've got a diagonal section. So it'll end up looking a lot like this. Cool. And then you'll take your scissors and cut off this bottom strip right here. Ah. You don't actually need that part. Okay. So. And there we go. Now I have a triangle. Cool. And we'll do the exact same thing with the other sheet of paper. Awesome. So. Okay, so now that we have our two triangles, we're going to unfold them. Oh. Like so. Mm -hmm. And then you're going to fold it in half lengthwise. And again, for these, you're going to do each step to both papers. Mm, okay. Okay, now that we have these, you unfold and then fold each section huh. toward the center. Oh. So it's going to look a little bit like maybe like you're making a little pamphlet or something. Mm. So it'll kind of like open up like this. Or nice. it even opens up like maybe like a treasure map. Oh, yeah. yes. Where's the treasure, I wonder. Hmm. At any rate, uh, again, you'll do this to both. So that they meet in the middle. Awesome. And then you'll fold, fold both. So that way the, like basically you'll take your brochure looking thing. Fold it in half again. Cool. In both cases. Now it's gonna get a little trickier. Ooh. Yeah, now this is where we start getting the cool shapes that we need. Oh. We're going to, first of all, fold it in half the other way. So oh. Kind of hamburger style. I see. Instead of hot dog style. Yes. I'm kind of folding the hot dog in half. Exactly. <laughs> Exactly. <laughs> Folding the hot dog in half. Perfect. Like you do. Mm -hmm. And so you'll do that again to both papers. Awesome. And then you'll take it back so that way we've got a fold in the middle here. Mm -hmm. And the next part is you'll take one side, take a corner, uh -huh. and you're going to fold it over to meet oh. that halfway point. Just Ricky. Made. Okay. So it's going to look something kind of like an upside I down see. L. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. With the and corner cut off. Yes, exactly. Mm -hmm. And then you'll do this. You'll do a similar thing to the other side, but oh. this is where it starts to diverge a little bit. Mm -hmm. You need this one to go the other way. Aha. Uh -huh. So you just fold again along that halfway point you just made. And then you should end up with basically uh -huh. two little L shapes. Totally. Mm -hmm. Very cool. Okay, so the next part is for each one, you're going to take another corner and oh. 
flip it like so. So it's gonna look a little bit like a kind of weird bow tie. Oh, I see. Um, Can we see the back of that too? Yeah, absolutely. Ah, From yes. Here, it's even like it's maybe a little bit of pasta you're folding up. It does, it does. Mm, pasta. Mm -hmm. All right. And then again, for this side, you'll be doing the same thing, just the opposite. Okay. So it'll fold. And of course, the thicker your construction paper, the harder it's going to get to fold. But I see. don't worry if it's not like a perfect yeah. fold or anything. Cool. So, of course, you can try origami paper as well. Um, since it's specially designed for that, it might be a little easier. It's just construction paper is more common. Mm -hmm. so for this next bit, what you're going to do is now that we have this funky little bow tie shape, you're going to flip it over. Oh. So that way you've got kind of this smoother surface. There isn't that break in the middle. Mm -hmm. And then for each corner, you're going to make another triangle. Whoa. So these squares at the end are going to become triangles. I see. Mm -hmm. So the first fold will be like that. I see. OK. And the second fold will go from this corner. Like I said, it gets kind of tricky once it gets thicker. Mm-hmm. And like that. So it kind of makes a weird little like pinwheel S thing. Nice. And then you'll do the same thing for the other one. So. See? And so you end up with two of these S shapes. Ah. Mm -hmm. So Very already, nice. you might be seeing where we're going with this. Yes. But again, this is still going to be a little tricky. Mm. So you're going to want to lay the papers on top of each other. Mm -hmm. So pick one color. And on this side, the side with the fold in the middle there, yes. you're going to want to have that be on top. You're going to want to keep this um, like this. OK. So that way the same sides are with each other. I see. And again, you'll make kind of like a little like pinwheel shape. So sure. like that. Oh, nice. Um, now comes the next bit. Oh. This bit is also pretty tricky. So you might need to get an adult to help you with this okay. one. But you're going to fold one of these little edges. Mm-hmm. And you're gonna fold it over and tuck it oh. in while still making a triangle shape. Oh, neato! Mm -hmm. And you're gonna do the same thing for the other side here. And so, let's see here. So now that I've done that, you can see it's kind of got some oh, edges there. Oh, I mm -hmm. see what's happening here. Mm -hmm. But now we flip it around. Yes. And you should be able to do the exact same thing with, in this case, the blue one. Uh-huh. So again, just sort of tuck it on in there. There you hey. go. And now we have a ninja star. That is so cool. Yeah. I like the two colors too. Yeah, I mean, like that I said, really you can fun. absolutely do it with one color, mm -hmm. but I think it looks a lot cooler with two. It looks so cool. Plus, like I said, it's a little easier because then you, mm -hmm. you know, don't get confused over what side is what. And, absolutely. Yeah. yeah. But yeah, so that's it. Again, it's Very pretty cool. much just a lot of folding. Um, you know, you may take some patience to get it right because mm -hmm. I mean, the first time I made one of these, it, it took a few tries. Mm -hmm. But uh, but yeah, after that, then these stay together pretty well. If you really want them to make sure that like they don't come loose or anything, you can always glue them. Right. But you oh, really yeah. don't have to. Okay, cool. Um, and plus, if a part pops out, you can always just put it back in. Awesome. So, yeah. Fantastic. Ninja time. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, that's all that we have for today's craft. But cool. enjoy uh, your ninja practice. Mm -hmm. um, we definitely want to see your ninja stars as well. If you have different colors or if you decorate them or anything mm -hmm. like that, we would love to see them. Very nice. However, 
next week, mm. we do have another fun paper folding project. <gasps> oh. And in this case, we're going to be making an origami dreidel. Oh. So for this, you're going to need, again, paper, scissors, and then just some sort of pencil or Q-tip that you can use for the spinning part. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. Um, take a look at that next week. But in the meantime... I think I've got some ninja stuff to take care of. Absolutely. So, if you'll excuse me. <laughs> bye bye, everybody. Ninja Star. <laughs> if you liked this video, be sure to like and subscribe on YouTube. And like and share on Facebook. Help us share our crafts with as many kids as we can. Thanks, Thanks everybody. everybody.